Hello, my name is Josh. I'm Tom. I'm Ed. I'm Ben. Mini Ben. Hi, I'm Thomas Cole. I'm Oliver. I'm Jonathan. I am Connor. I'm Liam. I'm Sam. I'm Alex. I'm Michael. Well, I'm Jacob. My name's jo Joseph or Joe. I'm Michael. Hello, my name's Ben. I am Callum. I'm Tiernan. I'm Zach. And I am still the smallest person in the choir. Are you one of the stars of the show, Josh? Well, obviously, a lot of people think that we must be stars because we're singing in all these concerts, we're on TV and radio quite a lot of the time back in England. So, obviously, that's how it looks from the audience's perspective. But I don't feel that much like a star. <laughs> Well, when you're up on the stage in front of, like, fans, you feel like people know me and I'm doing what I want to do, so you feel, yeah, you do kind of feel like a star. Could say that. But, but it's good to, like, know that people are supporting you, like family. Right. It's also my family. They support me a lot in what I do as Libera, and that really helps me. What is life like in Libera? It's actually very exciting and really fun. I, I love it. It's great. I really enjoy it and I want to carry it on for ages now. The things we do, normal people won't get to do anything like it. It's very exciting. It's once in a lifetime thing, really. Cause it's very good, very exciting. You get to travel around the world. Yeah, in Japan, fans like us a lot. They us, uh, they're always waving at us and smiling and getting excited when they see us. It makes you feel all warm inside and you want to carry it on. And the audiences are really, really supportive. It's really quite amazing because you get to see different types of people and how they react to your songs. To be honest, I have a normal life in England. It's very normal. It's not, we don't do anything extra. We're, not, we're just normal children, really. We just go to school and so on and so forth. Are you good at school? Um, I'm good at school, yes. <laughs> How good? I'm just the best, that's all. <laughs> Apart from geography. Do you consider yourself to be the star of the show or one of the stars of the show? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're Libra, is like, everyone in Libra is all equal. We're, Everyone, no one judges you on how many solos you do. Right. Not many people get a solo. Um, I'm just happy I got one, actually. It's odd, because my voice is low, but I can, I do uh, quite a lot of the top notes. Some people think it's like amazing that we go so high, but really it's just, it takes practice, but then we're just really good at it. We do quite a lot of practicing. You start off and you're in like this mini group with lots of other people like you who've just started. Some of the bigger boys help you on your way, help you learn a bit more that you don't in the rehearsals. It sounds bizarre, but it's actually quite laid back. I mean, the rehearsal sessions are, I mean, they're all fairly long with but with breaks and stuff and it's usually sort of Robert or some of the older boys I don't know rehearsing the younger boys but a lot of the work actually happens outside of the rehearsals because the boys are expected to learn words and stuff in their own time I didn't think I could do it when I first joined Libera but then a lot of practice and I, I could be able to do it well most of the other boys in the choir will just help you out along the way if you're like uh, one of the smaller people who've just joined they like um, show you the path is it difficult I wouldn't really say it's difficult. You have to learn quite a lot and you have to concentrate all the time because the music's very fast and um, quite challenging. 
Um, no, it's not really difficult. I, I can just sing high notes easy. Um, we mostly sight read and um, um, our director goes over the music with us, um, goes over the bits that we find dis difficult. Practice makes perfect and we are in fact perfect. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> What do you do for Libra now? Um, I do, I sort of help out wherever I can. I mean, the older boys now get the chance to sort of help train up some of the younger boys. We also help on the, the new albums, so recently I've been writing a few lyrics. One of my favourites is um, Ave Maria. I like Ave Maria. The harmonies in it when it's at the end when it's the big chorus I like it it's very good it just makes you feel just naturally happy I just like I always like go oh well Ave Maria is like the next song I'm just really happy uh, my favorite song is um do not stand. I, I like that one because it's like slow and gentle and like I like the solo bit. If I look at you and listen to you, you you're not very like Libra. You have a deep voice and you're tall, so what is this? Uh, well, when I started I was smaller and higher, <laughs> um, but as I've got older I've obviously got deeper and taller. My voice was qu quite a lot higher because at the moment I sing quite a lot of the lower parts. But the deep voices obviously still make part of Libra, um, which give it its brilliant harmonies. And without the low notes, obviously the low notes help support the higher notes as well. And what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, I want to be in the music business and I want to be an actor or um, singing in the theatre. Either a singer or something quite famous, like a footballer or something. No, I think I want to carry on with music, definitely. Uh, I, I might want to go into songwriting because I've already been doing a bit of that. And... Yeah, a Western musical actor or just um, a movie star or something like that. I want to carry on with music, um, so I want to be a producer or a music director. I want to like be a singer still, but a scientist. I'm studying at the moment media, which is the industry that I want to go into when I'm older. But I still carry on music with my singing and my playing the piano as well. I quite like to be a graphic designer or do something in the arts, like acting or something like music, perhaps. I'm hoping to become a car designer, design my own vehicles. How do you get to learn all those incredibly difficult lyrics in Latin and, you know, and in English? Well, we just treat them like they're the language that we speak, and so we go home and we look over the words and we just memorise a bit of the words and think it over in our head, and once we're sure we've got that, we go on to the next step. Well, for me, I normally take it home. I read it through. Um, I would write it down, and then if I get stuck, I would look at it again and then remember it and write it down. I would keep remembering writing. And then when I go to bed, I'd read it, and then I would go to sleep because it would be the last thing in my brain. It takes me ages to learn the words, absolutely ages. Obviously, because it's another language, it's quite hard to be able to do that and also sing at the same time. But we get through it. Do you have any other hobbies other than singing? I play two instruments, piano and guitar. Quite a few members play uh, the piano. Uh, which is quite useful because you can quite easily sing to the piano. Also do diving and swimming. When you go under the water you get peaceful and you go calm in the water, a bit like the stage. Um, yes, I do. I like magic and singing, of course. Singing <laughs> is a hobby and magic too? Yeah. Could you do a trick? Well, yeah. they say stop as I go along. OK. That's your card, okay? That's your card, okay? That's I won't go. That's your card, okay? You, I don't know what your card is. The only person who knows the card is you. 
and my trusty little friend, Mr. Joker here. Now this Joker can predict what card you have. You see, he's already shuffling through the cards trying to find your card. Well, all you have to do, really, is give him, give him, uh, you have to turn him over, turn, turn the Joker over, yeah. Give him a quick rub, like this, a very nice quick rub, like this. And he finds your card. The king of, was that your card? The king of hearts, king of hearts? Yeah, was it, was it? Was it? Magic. Magic. I'm not very good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good.